can this be proof that the Mandela effect is actually real? We're about to go through a lot of these clips, but before we do, thank you all so much for the support on the aliens are real graphic tees still some available on the website right now most sizes have sold out i believe there's only size small and extra large left and for my plot people like myself the 3x 4x and 5x shirts will be here in a couple of weeks so let's get into this video so let me give you all a little context as to what it is that we're about to be viewing here so basically what this creator is saying that with these old phones these older model phones these outdated phones that they're capable of viewing things in the way that we once knew them to be almost as if there is a riff in the space-time continuum or a emergence of dimensions whatever the case may be we know things to be one way because of the mandela effect but now they're a different way but these phones here these phones can only pick them up the way that we once knew them to be now let's break down this clip here so that we can make sure that we're on the same page in regards to what it is that we're viewing. See, he starts off the video, or she, I'm not really sure, by waving their finger behind the camera to show that this is in real time in regards to, you know, when they were recording this with their other device. Waving their finger, moving the camera about to show that, hey, I'm actually recording this Monopoly box that's um, behind the phone here. He zooms in. You can see the eyewear on the Monopoly man. You can see. We all once knew there to be a monocle on his eye. But as you all can see, there isn't one. But why is it that so many of us swear that at one point in time there was? Now, here's one of my favorites right here. You see this guy is recording the a Fruit of a Loom package right here, waving his finger like he always does, zooms out. The guy that's on the box or on the package is the same guy that's on the package here. Everything is the same except for the fact that there's a cornucopia here now, and when he removes the phone, there isn't one. Y'all, this is fascinating. This is one of the most interesting things that I've ever seen come across the internet. Are we in a different dimension? How is this possible? It looks too authentic. It almost makes you want to go and get one of these old phones and try it for yourselves. A lot of y'all are familiar with the Berenstein Bears. Or were they the Berenstain Bears? Which one is it? That's the name that I remember growing up as a kid, but watch when he moves the phone. Baron Stain, spelt completely different. How could he, if this is indeed fake, because now we live in times where it's almost impossible, if not impossible to believe any and everything that you see on the internet. But how would he fake this? And as you can see, he's simply doing the ones that people are asking of him. They tried to delete it. Thanks for reposting. Please do the Berenstain Bears. If they're deleting these videos when this stuff goes up, what does it tell you? That they're hiding something from us. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of these cheese it crackers, but I remember one thing. I definitely remember there being a Z at the end of the T. And there isn't one. It's not like this individual is going in and creating these exact same boxes and packages, placing it there, filming them, recording it, waving his finger behind, doing it so perfectly that it looks as though if it was once the actual packaging, I doubt that this creator is going through that effort, but really you can't put that type of effort past anyone. How do you guys remember Chick-fil-A being spelled? Is it like this? C-H-I-C? He even goes as far as recording the sauce pack and it being spelt the same way, C-H-I-C. But when you remove the camera, there's a K on everything. <laughs> Y'all, I don't believe this creator is making duplicates of these products and trying to pull the wool over our head. I, I don't believe it. I could be wrong or this could be real now up to this point if you didn't think that any of these clips were convincing enough like just like my theory was that it's a possibility that he could just be changing these products recreating them himself so that he can try to trick us 
look at these clips i think it'll be a little bit too difficult for him to fake all of this stuff here like let's just look at this slowly so now he's using the motorola phone a flip phone capping crunch i think they're capping about the dimension that we're actually in it used to be captain crunch just like this i remember it because we know him to be a captain right ghostbusters what's happening here in ghostbusters that's different he says look for the inconsistencies kind of hard to see on this little device right here at the bottom but ghost breakers what no that makes no sense we always know them to be ghostbusters that makes no sense to me at all honestly i don't even get that one but here you have the monopoly dollar and the phone picks it up as if he still has the monocle on his eye now this is also interesting because you would think looking at this specifically i know what's going through some of you guys mind wait didn't they just print this like isn't this newer monopoly money and clearly they're printing it without the monocle on there how is it that this phone is picking up that these things have something printed on them that they didn't print on them it's hard to explain but what if there is some degree of awareness or consciousness even in these electrical devices here we are again baron stain baron steen i don't feel like he's faking this stuff got it on this motorola flip phone curious george we once knew him to have a tail he no longer has a tail what's, what's going on with the sketchers here it was spelt different there was once a t but now there's no t I, I doubt he's faking this stuff i'm telling you guys i want these phones <laughs> all right hold on let's see what, what's going on with the white out here with the big white out white out to hold on I, I don't i don't see the difference oh i see it w-i-t-e it wasn't always w-h-i-t-e i mean this is crazy to me i i really want to believe this is real jiff jiffy right it's only jiff now now this is the doozy right here right y'all i swear pikachu had a dark mark on his tail i used to draw pikachu back in grade school and I always drew him with this dark mark on his tail. You can see here in this like Nintendo Switch game, he doesn't have the dark mark, but on the phone he does. Ford, I'm, I'm, not, I'm look, I'm not sure y'all about what's going on here with the Ford one. Um, and there's no context on the screen as to what I'm supposed to be looking for. If you guys can see a difference, I'm seeing F-O-R-D. He removes it, F-O-R-D. If y'all see a difference here, comment down below. Maybe y'all caught something that I didn't. Kit Kat. All right, what's the difference with Kit Kat? He's waving his finger behind the, the, the screen again, behind the camera. All right, looking at it up close, we see the KIT with the dash KAT. What's the difference? Come on now. The dash was always there. Why is it not there? <laughs> come on just in this creator have uploaded another video and i was able to capture it just in time for this video i will have this page linked down in the description box below y'all check this out someone here says please do spongebob i'm a goofy goober episode where he plays the guitar i remember it being white and purple and a v-shape not a peanut please this is interesting hold on so are we about to see now y'all this could be the one that proves that this is real because I haven't seen this. We're about to see a video and he's going to be recording this with this device. Let's see how it turns out. All right. What? You can't look y'all. You can't. You can't. It's shaped like a peanut. It's shaped like a peanut. Clear as day. But here, with his finger, it's shaped like a V, and it was purple. He's recording this, y'all. He, you even see him record it when it's playing. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that he didn't fake any of these. You know, this, this is amazing. Wow.
What? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? The video of the journalist saved by baseball player on the field. What? What? what what's different? What's different? Y'all, this is crazy. Snow White, what do we know? Mirror, mirror on the wall, right? Who's the fairest of them all? Not magic mirror on the wall. Look, reading the subtitles. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Move the camera. Magic mirror on the wall. Y'all, this is getting crazier by the second. Here we go, Pikachu. Look at his tail. No black, no black. Y'all, he's recording actual videos now, not just still images. Pikachu with the black tail. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I want to believe this. I want to believe this is real. Sex in the city. That's what I knew it to be. It was sex in the city. Now it's sex and the city. This is incredible. He's recording Netflix right now as it is but the phone picks it up different this entire video throws my whole theory out the window that he was recreating these products and making them the way we once knew them to be no he's showing us with video proof that he didn't have to put in that sort of effort these phones are really picking up this information as we once knew it to be i'm gonna watch this clip one more time y'all because i'm not sure what i missed here he recording it the guy catches the ball just like he did here. I'm not sure what's different, though. I'm not sure what's different. This might be one of those clips where you guys may have found something that I missed, just like with the picture of the Ford emblem. Comment down below. But anyway, do y'all believe these clips to be real? Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Make sure you share this video with as many people as you can because this is amazing. This, this is fascinating. Anyway. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.